Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to go over the unique picks in mid lane in spring 2024 uh, across the four major regions during the regular season. We have what nine champions up here two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine instances where these champions were picked only once and not again by anybody in the four major regions. We do have a case with Yasuo where it has been picked in playoffs, but only once in regular season. So, one of the two wins was Aatrox. Uh, Quid was playing Aatrox for 100 Thieves into Shopify Rebellion. It was into a Scion. Uh, he had an 8.5 KDA, uh, about 22% of the team's gold, 25% of the damage. And was ahead over 1,000 gold, 35 CS, and 500 XP at 15 minutes. So one could say he's pretty damn dominant. Um, Insanity, if you recall this, uh, he played Garen mid uh, against Dignitas. Dove was on Talia, and uh, Dove would win. Um, 0.67 KDA, 20.8 uh, gold share, only 9% of the team's damage. So the Garen really did not work. Behind about 350 gold, 16 CS, 21 XP. Closer pulled out Aurelia against Nongshim. Kalmi was on Oriana and he would lose. A 1.33 KDA, 24 gold share, about 19 damage share. He was ahead significantly though at 15 minutes. 1,000 gold, 30 CS, and 550 XP roughly. One solo kill as well. Karas played Lissandra into Zekka's Ari and lost. Had a 1.67 KDA, 20.7 gold share, 20.6 damage share. Behind over 1,400 gold at 15 minutes. Um, a couple CS and almost 500 XP. The only LPL instance on the board is Cryan playing Renekton mid for IG. When they played against top esports, Cream was on Karma. Um, Cryan would have a 1 KDA, 21, 1 gold share. About 17 damage share. Next we have Vayne. Jojo Pune for C9. Played Vayne into uh, Insanity Scion and would lose. Um, for Shopify Rebellion. 1.67 KDA. About 25.5 gold share and 33 damage share. So, you know, had a lot of damage for sure. Um, was not the reason they lost. Um, up almost 700 gold. 35 CS and 450 XP at 15 minutes. Um, Vayne into Scion should be that disgusting, right? I don't think that's a shock. Um, the result, though, in the end, something to think about. Vethio played Zareth into Fnatic and Humanoid Zazir and would lose. He went Deathless. Uh, 200 was the KDA. 22 gold share, about 33.5 damage share. But behind 2,077 gold at 15 minutes, 12 CS and 689 XP. He got gapped by Humanoid in that one. Closer played Yasuo um, into Say Tabs LeBlanc and would win. So Fear X beating DRX in that one. 7.5 KDA, 23.6 gold chair, 22.3 damage chair. Up 950 gold, 20 CS, 330 XP roughly. Um, just two of the uh, wins on here out of the nine games. Um, then we have Zach for Insanity. He played it into um, Jensen's Oriana and lost. He had a positive KDA, 19.4 um, gold share, 19.7 damage share. Behind over 700 gold, a couple CS, well, 20 CS actually, so not a couple. Um, so it's down 700 gold, 20 CS. But up 330 XP and actually had a solo kill in that game. So, you know, it's interesting, right? Only two of these nine games actually came up with a win. And that's probably why we did not see the other champions played ever again, right? Other people in major regions were like, oh, really? He's pulling this out. Let's watch it. And we're like, oh, that's definitely why we don't play that. Um, Garen is a good example. Um Definitely some games, though, that make you scratch your head. You know, Closer's Aurelia looked pretty good, at least statistically. Um, Aatrox for Quid, not, necess excuse me, not necessarily a mid laner, but he did very well on it. You can't take that away from him, that he was good on the champion. Jojo Pune's Vayne got ahead. I mean, it was into a Scion. It makes sense. Uh, Closer's Yasuo was, was ahead. Um, another thing to kind of think about here is what results weren't already expected right so 
in the case of like, um, for instance, Lissandra for Karras, um, playing into Zeka and HLE. The expectations HLE are going to beat Bro regardless. So that is what it is. But if Cloud9 lose a shop of Rebellion like they did, it's like, oh, well, it kind of goes to show you that they really couldn't play around the vein and, and get the job done. Um, you know, like the, the Garen game was close. It could be a deciding factor. Um, Fear X Nongshim, Aurelia, deciding factor. IG into Top Esports, Renekton into Cream. Top Esports should win that one, not a surprise. Um, Fnatic and Vitality, a close matchup. I give Fnatic the edge, but regardless, um, you, you could say that there was a difference there. Fear X into DRX, Fear X should win that one. Um, and then Insanity's Zach into FlyQuest. Um, so Fly should win against Shopify Rebellion. So, you know, some of these are surprises, um, namely the, the JoJo Pune one. Others are expected regardless of what champion they play. So, um, you know, comment down below if you remember any of these games. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.